All right, and Dari, what is it that you have to say to me? Zira needs you in the den. Said she has something for you. <laughs> oh yeah? And what did she say? Or what does she want? Something about the bastard who forced Silver Claw from his own warehouse. Hmm. Cash, I think. Some fancy pantaloned merchant lord who might be after the guild's old records. Got you. I'll talk to her, uh, Ziera then. Ziera's in the den. Don't keep her waiting. I won't. Uh, what do we know about Kosh anyways? Haven't heard the name before Ziera said it. Some new merchant lord trying to make a name, but don't they all? Used to be, the Thieves Guild knew every move the merchant lords made. Sad times. Sad times. Okay. The Thieves Guild uh, used to watch the merchant lords? Or the merchant lords? Like Herons we did. Our old guild master was a master at keeping their attentions on each other. Made it easier to slip our heads into their pockets. Oh, Nicholas. The next five drinks are to your memory. Who are the merchant lords anyways? Bunch of jumped up bandits, if you ask me. Claim to run the whole city because they buy from anyone. Is it? Throwing gold at pirates made them lordly. Without a steady flow of plundered goods, they'd be nothing. Got it. Thank you. So she said that she's in the guild. What is this one anyways? Oh, the tip board? Okay, well, the other thing is over here in this direction too. So let's go. Oh, got it. It's right here. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Hello, Ziera. A.K.A. Guildmaster. There you are. Remember Velsa's friend, Silverclaw? No. He is quite grateful you were coming oh, yeah. to leisure. Seems he kept his ears open for word of that merchant lord, Kosh. What does the Thieves Guild, uh, what, uh, what does the Thieves Guild care about Kosh? If Kosh took over Silverclaw's warehouse, he's grabbing the rackets we used to control. And if he's after our old business, there's a good chance he's hungry for even more. Skuma trade, slavery, things we never touched. Specifically that slavery thing. Although Skuma's, aka the drug trade, is not very good either. So, what do you want me to do then? Before we give Kosh a swift kick to the coin purse, I want you to find out just how dirty his hands are. I sent the others ahead to do some groundwork. Start with Walk Softly. Look for him near the harbor. Alright. I'll look for Walk Softly then. I sent Quen to her own task, and Velsa too. Didn't even second guess me. She must be up to something. Uh, the Thieves Guild never dealt with the Skuma or slaves? When Nicholas was Guildmaster, I convinced him to stop dealing with Skuma peddlers. No matter my own thoughts on that poison, it's bad for business. And the Thieves Guild never dealt in slaves. One of the few things Belsa and I agree on. Good. Oh, uh, what do we know about Kosh anyways? Not enough. Some of the merchant lords prefer to bide their time in obscurity. Using trusted servants to handle their affairs. Then they reveal themselves. Like a beetle in the pudding. Whatever Kosh intends, he's no longer keeping to the shadows. Got it. Thank you, bye. So, hey Bastion. So now we leave. Where exactly are we going? Is it just here to a boss landing? Well, that sounded creepy, but okay, sure, why not? How do I get out of here? This is the exit to the outside, right? That dude looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Hughes Bane. This city... It's kind of confusing to navigate through, I, I think, personally. I love cities. The rude people, the noise, the chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? Yes. Yes, I do find that strange uh let me see the map yeah it looks like it wants me to go back inside so let's get on my little horse here i don't like this horse i don't know what it is about this mount but it's it's not it's not cool let me train while i'm here i might as well he needs a lot of speed anyways so 12 or 13 yeah that's a 
I have a long way to go. What's this guy's name? Okay, sure, whatever. How... Is it just right here? Are we taking... Are we taking a boat again? I think we're taking a boat again. Ha! Huh. Might as well put my weapon away. There's no need for it to be open since we're inside of the city. But who knows? Maybe we'll need it inside the city. Hey, Mr. Walks Offly. What's up, broski? You're right on time. Yes, I am. What did our esteemed guildmaster tell you? Well, our esteemed guildmaster, Ziera, said she wanted you to go ahead and do some groundwork. Good, because I found something. The captain of the Dream Snake was always interested in making fast coin. She's sloppy, even for a pirate, which makes her a perfect target for Kosh. She and I have unpleasant history. Best I keep away from her. Alright, what do you need me to do then? She's meeting a contact nearby. She's prone to boast. Why not find a quiet place to hear what she has to say? But the captain is a creature of habit. She used to keep documents secured in the Dream Snake. Try there if you don't care to eavesdrop. Got it. I'll see what I can find out. Find what you can. After that, meet Quen near the harbor. She has her own task and will no doubt need your assistance. Yeah, for sure. But really quick. You mentioned unpleasant history about, uh, with the captain of the Dream Snake? What's that all about? I once told the captain I was a wealthy Argonian prince seeking a fast <laughs> ship to transport my riches. Of course you did. She let me inspect the smuggling compartments. And then I robbed her blind. Of she course you did. one eye patch, so... Half blind. I left her the eye patch. What are you, hol what are you holding? Harpy egg. <laughs> They're sickening. I'd never actually eat one, but they're garish enough to draw attention from me. People see the Argonian with disgusting harpy eggs, not the Argonian with amazing fashion sense. Sounds good. Although you are an Argonian, it wouldn't really I wouldn't be really surprised if you ate the harpy egg, to be honest. But he does have a good sense of fashion and style, so I'll give him that. I like him, he's a cool dude. I'm assuming it's up here. Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Time to eavesdrop on some people. Uh-oh. I'm surprised they didn't see me. I was right next to him. Bastion, stay quiet. Your people must have talked to this cash. We were at sea. Why reveal our skooma supplier to some merchant lord who wants a cut? It doesn't matter. This cash demanded I come along to Noshira Citadel. The Iron Wheel's headquarters? How is he involved with... No, don't tell me. Best you meet him before the Iron Wheel sends soldiers after us both. Is... is that it? That's all they had to say? Okay, not very exciting, but... We'll go with that. Let's get out of here, baby. Psst. Want to make some easy gold? Not right now. Thank you, though. Appreciate the offer. Right now, I'm on a mission for a very secretive organization that I take pride of, uh, of being involved in. Oh, wait. Hey, what's up, homegirl? Quinn. Zira said I should wait for you when I was finished. Well, I'm finished. And what did you find? The flooded district near where Belsa called home. The people who lived there had nowhere to go after the floods. One of the dockyard bosses offered them work, food, and a place to stay. So that doesn't sound like a problem to me. That's what I told Zira. You know what she said? If Zolguk had an altruistic bone in his body, he'd cut it out and sell it. I'd already know what he was really up to, if Zira trusted me. But she wanted me to scout, and you to do the fun part. And what exactly did Zira want me to do? Zolguk arranged a meeting with an Imperial client at a nearby inn. Might be worth a listen. Oh, the inn rents a room to Ventilius Proximus, the most Imperial name I've ever heard. 
<laughs> Fact. Probably the client. The room's lock seemed inadequate. It's kind of funny though because my main character's name is Lucius Invictus, which is pretty imperial if you ask me. Uh, all right, I'll look into it. What then? Find Belsa when you're done. She's meeting with Silverclaw at his shop. Did you know he had a shop? I wonder what he sells. Skuma. Quinn, what's wrong? It's nothing. I... It's nothing. I mean, you can tell me, girl. It's okay. You can trust me. I will, but later. Now isn't the time. I just... I don't know why this matters. Zira is like an academy instructor, handing me busy work while the star pupil gets the plum assignments. Hmm. Star pupil? No, I didn't... What I meant to say was... <laughs> Alright, I suppose I'm a bit jealous. Got it. All this comes far easier to you than it does me. Not really. I could go the humble route or the motivational. This seems a little motivational to me, but at the same time, a little prideful and big-headed. Like, don't be jealous. Just do better, even though I'm always going to be better. Or I could go with this route and says, like, no, I'm not. You know, I'm not that good. But just, we can talk about it later. Mm, I'm going to go with, I'm curious to find out what this says, though. Yeah, let's go with this. Don't be jealous, man. Quinn, just be better, you know? We could do this together. I... You're right. Thanks, partner. I won't let you down. Hey, there you go. That's what I was hoping. That it wasn't like a prideful thing, like, I'm better than you type thing, but be better yourself. I was hoping it was gonna be like that, basically, where it was like, uh, you know, just like, be better. It's like, you don't have to be jealous of me, dude. It's like, I may be better right now, but you could be just as good, if not better, if you just continue to try, you know? I want you to be better. Than me, in general, period. Wait, so where are we going? Is this... Okay. Who said that? I don't know. <clears throat> well, we rapidly reached our location. Are we eavesdropping again? to tell anyone about our arrangement. I need your volunteers for my experiments. I would never ruin things for my supplier. Then how did this Kosh know of our business? I have no idea. But if you can't deliver warm bodies, I'll find another supplier. Then pray I return from Noshira Citadel. If Kosh is connected to the Iron Wheel, we're both doomed. Is that it? I kind of want to see this dude. He doesn't know I was listening to him anyways. Yeah, he's... He's, he's apparently a ghost. Wait, hold on. Where are we going? Back down there. Man, this mission really has us going back and forth like crazy, isn't it? That was impressive. It says below... Not exactly sh Oh, it's, it's right here. Never mind. Shopping concern. Hey, there you are. friend. Quickly, we must speak. Of course. What's up, my, my my silver claw friend? A most regrettable welcome, for I have such unfortunate tidings. What I soon reveal shall be quite distressing to hear. For this, I offer my gravest and most humble apology. What do you mean? Ah, oh, the look on your face is unmistakable. It says, if I may speak for your most resplendent face, peace, my exceptionally sleek mercantile friend. <coughs> Take a series of deep, relaxing breaths so you may reveal the matter at hand. In, out. In, out. Silverclaw, my friend, tell me what's going on. Velsa left for Noshira Citadel. 
promise upon our long and profitable friendship not to reveal this, but your vigorous interrogation left me no choice. <laughs> I do not know why she travels to the headquarters of the Iron Wheel, but I fear for her safety. What do you think I should do? Go after her, of course. But you are so striking. The Iron Wheel will know you don't belong. It is settled. You shall meet with the illustrious Perseus Look at the Diamond Thimble. He shall help you obtain an appropriate disguise. Tell him I sent you. All right, I'll get moving then. <coughs> assured me she would not venture beyond the outskirts of Noshira Citadel. Assured me. Oh my. With all certainty, she is already captured. Who is this Perseus Locke anyways? A cherished friend. Though not always. Once, we were fierce rivals for the importation of fine silk. Yet... He proved the gracious victor and reimburses for any referral to this day. A cherished former rival in all truth, but quite magnanimous. Okay, sounds good. I'll go see this Perseus individual then. Come on, Bastion. We gotta talk to another Imperial, apparently. There's Imperials everywhere. It's upstairs. It's gotta be upstairs. Let me see. Yep, above. Is he gonna give us... He isn't wrong, though. We are pretty freaking striking. Look at us. We look magnificent, like the sun itself. Dude, you almost burnt me. Better relax with that guy. It's here. The diamond thimble? Hey! Hey! Mr. Perseus Locke, my friend, guy, friend of my friend. Uh, hold still. Your attire is... That isn't a bloodstain, is it? Absolutely. But never mind that for now. Silver Claw said uh, you can provide a, uh, me with a disguise. Oh, did he now? He did. There's something striking, so you stand out at the next Merchant Lord's soiree. Or a ridiculous crenellated affair that leaves you the... Talk of the brothel? Neither, actually. That's actually the problem. I'm apparently too striking, and I need to not stand out as much. So I need to basically get an outfit that would just basically get me uh, into no Shira Citadel. Well, if you wanted a burial suit, the Iron Wheel charges far less than I. Though perhaps... <clears throat> yes... A servant's outfit will let you go hither and yon, at least above ground. And if it's one of my creations, the cloth will breathe, but it shall cost you. What if I don't want to pay? Well, then I'd assume you're from Abar's Landing. But I know of a certain individual who has yet to pay the bill for just such an outfit. If you happen to reacquire it on my behalf, I would consider it your property, paid in kind. I'll think about it. I prefer you deprived my shirker of his outfit, but if you're averse to saving coin, I will sell you one directly. Be warned, the disguise won't do you any good within the Iron Wheel's headquarters. Uh... Why, why won't a servant's disguise work inside the Iron Wheel's headquarters? Paranoia, of course. No servants are allowed inside. From what I hear, the Iron Wheel takes care of all chores within their headquarters. Anyone who isn't Iron Wheel or escorted by them is attacked on sight. A truly noble organization. Huh. Couldn't you just make me an Iron Wheel uniform? I am physically capable of doing so, but it will never happen. I'd rather not end up in a prison cell. And a uniform alone won't serve as a disguise. They have too many signals and mannerisms. Why, well, you'd be spotted in an instant. I'm curious to find out what he sells. I mean, I have 3,900 and it costs 900. It would bypass a part of the quest. Hmm. Her, well, you know what? Let's go. Let's go try to steal the servant's outfit just to fit a little bit more of the thieves guild. Where is it? Oh my God! It's on the far side. Yeah. 
Oh, this horse is so painfully slow, it makes me want to cry a little. I give up. <laughs> I'm going back inside. I'm buying it. Long time no see, my friend. I'd like to buy that outfit from you. Whoops. Nope. That one. There we go. Damn, that was a hard quest. So the long game. Meet Velsa outside No Sure Citadel. Citadel. Where is... How far is that? Is that outside of Boss Landing? It is. It's way down here. Okay, so we actually have to leave the city for this one. And that's this way. I don't know what it is about this city. It seems pretty basic when you look at the map. It's only like one main road that goes throughout the city. But for some reason, it's kind of hard to navigate through here. It's a little confusing, actually. <clears throat> There's the exit right there. Voila. I kind of remember this quest, to be honest. Because if you guys didn't know, I did do this entire quest line, but I didn't pay attention to the story whatsoever. I'm obviously saving the story for... for the channel here. But I kind of remember going to this place. Feels like forever ago now. Who is this guy? Bastion got a little bit of rapport. Who is attacking? Bastion, get her! I'm so confused right now. Alright. You've convinced me not to fight you. And it's okay. Uh oh. Don't fight the crocodiles, Bastion. Speaking of Bastion. Where are you? There you are. Come on, Bastion. There is a lot of beasts around here. Which doesn't... It kind of doesn't surprise me. It's the desert. There's a lot of snakes and stuff. And Speaking of snakes. Oh, no, that's not a snake. That's just a tree. I'm seeing things, apparently. I'm gonna this is the yeah it is all right so I'm gonna actually discover this way shrine really fast just in case we have to come back at a later time I mean at bare minimum we'll be able to fast travel here or away from here both of which are viable options are these all bad guys No, those are... That's a player. Hey, you! Hi, Belsa! So, you got Silverclaw to spill a secret. At best, a minor accomplishment. He didn't send you to that powdered hornbill, did he? Buy a special uniform to fit in? Why do you ask? You do know he gets referral for everyone he sends to that flax peddler? Even when he thinks my life is in danger, Silverclaw still works the angles. You bumpkin. Hey, I gotta respect the hustle, man. Uh, let me see. We could persuade her. Before, you told me to always know what I was getting into. Or I could go with Velsa. What are you doing here? Let's go with persuade. Velsa, I remember once before, you told me to always know what I'm getting myself into. I kind of need to know a little. Yes, I did. You're not supposed to throw my words back at me. Well, I did. Reminds me of Nicholas. Velsa, what are you doing here? I don't care if you are her protege. I'm not going to do Zira's scut work. I slipped a truth serum to Silverclaw's former overseer. I learned that Kosh blackmails assorted scum and draws them to know Shira Citadel for a meeting. So let's find out why. All right. What do we know about him so far? <clears throat> it seems Kosh contacts little fish from a position of power, threatens exposure, and bends them to his will. Elegant. What I'd do. But his connection to the Iron Wheel isn't clear. That troubles me. 
What should we do about it? We? Now that Zira's protege is here, poor old Velsa can rest her weary bones. Find a way into the Iron Wheels headquarters and learn how they're connected to Kosh. Oh, and blackmail needs documents. Be sure to swipe them. You want me to break into the Iron Wheels headquarters. Is that right? Is that what I'm understanding here? Zira tells me you're a thief. Go break into a place you shouldn't be. Take something valuable and leave before they notice. I did hear something about a passphrase for a service door. Look around, use your brain. I won't spoon feed you. All right, well, thanks for the advice. When you find what you need, get out and head back to the den. Don't get caught, and if you do, bite off your tongue before their torture forces you to shriek my name. You'll be fine. What task does Zira give you anyways? <clears throat> Nothing worth my time. And everything led here, didn't it? If we leave, we miss this opportunity to learn Kosha's plans. All right, sounds like a plan. So should I should I put on my outfit now? He's going to lead the fighters killed now. This outfit's actually pretty dope. Yeah, they're yellow. Okay, so I did the right thing by coming. Uh oh. How do I get over there? Homeboy will see me. Uh oh. And he's coming this way because of course he is. Would it be better if I just go down from the bottom? Oh no. It would be I think. Whoop! That scared the hell out of me. I'm lagging a little. I take it back, I'm lagging a lot. My guy's not even attacking. Well. Okay, well at least he's finally attacking. The problem is... I kind of need a disguise since I blew up. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Who are you? Cause? Find your own broom. The last one I loaned out is in the belly of an assassin beetle. I need to get into the service door, but I don't know the passphrase. You're mad. Only the Iron Wheel and their guests are allowed down there. I'm trying to do my job. Orders are orders. All right. I'll give you part of it. I don't eavesdrop, you understand. I just happen to have excellent hearing. Be sure to write it down. I won't repeat it. All right, go ahead. I'm ready. A ring of iron around them. A ring of iron around them. It sounds like Game of Thrones. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. <clears throat> Truly, don't. I could get in a lot of trouble. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh-oh. Just kidding. You didn't see me. Can you go ahead and uh, turn around now? I kind of like this outfit. Can you please turn around? Run! Oh no. This is going to go bad. I just know it. Get up there. Good job. Bastion, don't blow up. <gasps> Why did he freaking roll? That was stupid. Now I gotta find out how to get up there again. Come on, Bastion. That's freaking annoying. I really hate that so freaking much. When they randomly freaking roll for no reason. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I might be screwed. Okay, that's good. There's gotta be a way upstairs. Did 
There's gotta be a way. Uh oh. What hit me? Bastion, take care of my lightweight, please. Ah, oh, crap. Of course I'm not. Because why would I still be disguised? Meanwhile, I'm still trying to figure out how to get upstairs. Clear your mind and break the spell. Shut up, Bastion. That was an accident. Well, hello there. Oops. Definitely pushed the wrong button there. Okay. So... We're good, right? I think we're good. As long as I don't roll again. How did he see me? At this rate, I don't even care if I blow up. Just give me a disguise already, damn it. This is going from bad to worse, I swear it is. That was, that was fast. Might as well die at this point. This is the worst infiltration mission ever. You, die. Give me another service outfit. There's a lot of service outfits just chilling. There we go. It says below. Why below? Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe you have to go down the stairs over here. Right? No, it still says below. I'm so confused right now. Something... Something feels a little off. <gasps> Don't trip. That was the passphrase two. So we gotta find the third passphrase before we can progress any further. Where's the last one? Can you like go away? Uh oh. Run! Perfect. Right? We're good. Except now I got... Okay. That's it. Do these guys have servants hurt? outfits? Of course they don't. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Oh, there's three of them because of course there is. Haha. -ha. These guys are too weak to be even worried about AoEs or anything like that. <clears throat> like my back bar. Is it... It says below. Oh, there it is. So I guess we could jump down. What is the fate of the lawbreaker? What is the fate of the unrepentant? What is the fate of the lawbreaker? What is the fate of the unrepentant? What of those who would deny their fate? Enter and find peace within. All right. He's going to be so disappointed when he sees me. I literally just guessed. I didn't read the papers. I thought my shift would never end. Wait, 
Who are you? Don't hurt me. I'm not even an officer. I want to hear what he says. Please, I'm no threat to you. I simply watch the door. Six days before I take my pension. I want no trouble, you see? I like his outfit. Stay calm. I'm not here to kill you. Thank the gods. You will have no trouble from me. You were never here, and I never saw you. I can't have you warning the Iron Reel, though. I... I have a sleeping draft. One sip helps me through the nights. The whole bottle will knock me out for hours. You'll be long gone. Then you should drink the whole bottle. I'm pretty sure we just killed a man. Pretty sure we just killed a man. This is your only chance to consider my proposal. Work for me or else. Or else what? Or I hand these documents to the Iron Wheel. Well? What choice do we have? Bring. Good. Then I shall make your documents disappear. Already way ahead of you. What? My papers were here. Did they fall behind the... I'll attend to that after my meeting with Chief Inspector Ron Beek. Do remember who holds your reins. That works well, I think. Huh. He, uh... He really didn't care that the evidence was against... That, that was against him just kind of sort of disappeared. Uh-oh. Bastion, where the hell did you come from? I don't actually see anyone. I mean, there's... There's a few people, but they're not even really in our way. <gasps> there he is again. I can locate Magnifica Falora's dowry. I can return it to you within the fortnight. And what is your interest Fortnite? in the matter? Exactly. The Iron Wheel must leave Hugh's Bane. He is simply bad for business. If you recover Magnifica Falora's dowry, I can guarantee our return to Tanith. There is another minor request. Hardly a trifle. Perhaps we can discuss it over drinks? I do not drink. Then I shall take your share. Come, an office is no place to do business. That's like the perfect place to do business. What, what are you talking about, dude? He's trying to get him drunk, isn't he? He seems like the manipulative type. Wait, we have to go... Well, we're probably gonna get caught. You don't see anything. Nothing at all. I mean, there's a- holy crap! I guess I should have noticed that. There's a hiding spot right here. Oh, that's not a bad guy. I thought that was a bad guy for a second. Maybe left is the best way to go? <gasps> it wasn't. Okay, good. I don't see anyone. Like, at all. This place is barren, dude. There was a few people. Sneaking through this place was cake. The outside was... In terms of people. But I keep falling for the traps. I... I knew it. Gotta make sure I'm topped off in health at least a little bit. I got really messed up there.
Hey, we made it out. So we're going back to a boss landing? I think we're going back to a boss landing. Can I ride my horse in here? Yes, I can. Run! You'll never catch me there, buddy. I'm on a horse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run away. Let's go ahead and go to the way shrine. It'll be a lot faster if we just teleport there. Come on, Bastion. Well, that's nice. Will you stop chasing me? Finally. Took him long enough. Got to find the entrance to a thieves guild. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Some are good, some are bad. Some give you gifts, others rob you blind. Whatever you say there, Bastion. I'm sure there's a lot of people here in Abaz Landing that would rob you blind. Alright, so where are we going? Where is the guild master? You see, Zero, your protege returns having survived the invulnerable iron wheel. You should have more faith. Everyone, clear the room. Wonder what they were talking about. Hey! Velsa told me you went into the iron wheel's headquarters by yourself. What in oblivion were you thinking? Uh, excuse me? We're not ready to go anywhere near the Iron Wheel. I won't have anyone else die because of a choice. <clears throat> Listen, I'm barely holding this together. No offense to Quinn, but you're the best recruit we have. I can't lose you to a feud with Velsa. <laughs> Don't blame Velsa. It was my choice to infiltrate the Iron Wheel's headquarters. Even though I'm pretty sure it wasn't. You're right. I shouldn't take this out on you. Or her. No matter how good it feels. Alright. You risked your neck and survived to tell the tale. Did you find anything we can use? I did actually. So, Kosh met with the Iron Wheel. He promised to recover Magnifica Flora's dowry. Impossible. It's still in Magnifica Flora's family tomb. The dowry heist failed. Nicholas and the others died before we reached the treasure vaults. Well, Chief Inspector... That... Uh, said if Kosh recovered the dowry, the Iron Wheel would return to Tanith. Tanith. No, the Iron Wheel was here to punish us for attempting the heist. But if that's what you heard, were they really searching for the dowry all along? Why come after us with such ferocity? What else did you learn? Kosh was blackmailing uh, uh, the people you sent us to investigate. I stole this from him. Let me see. Hmm. This is comprehensive. Elaborate details on merchant lords in Abba's Landing, as well as rivals throughout the region. Maps to stolen goods we could recover for ourselves. What now? I'll go through what you recovered, see if it offers a clue to Kasha's plans, or anything involving the missing dowry. I need to make sense of all this. Get some rest. I'll need you ready when we make our move. And good job. Thank you. I keep thinking about what you found. If someone stole Magnifica Flora's dowry, it wasn't the Thieves Guild. But we certainly took the fall for it. After what I learned at Iron Wheel headquarters, I have questions. What about? Well, first things first. You said the dowry house uh, heist failed, but Chief Inspector Rehak, that word, uh, said it's missing. Who 
Who else knew about the heist? Nicholas told Belsa he was planning a heist, but she retired before he shared the details. I'm the only one who knew. Someone who must have followed us to the tomb. What is Kosh planning anyways? The merchant lords see the Iron Wheel as an occupying force. They fear Tanith wants to conquer Abba's Landing. If Kosh convinces Chief Inspector Ranbeek to leave, he'll have immense influence. It must be his plan. Maybe. Wait. Is there no other quest? Let me see real quick what we got from that. My inventory is full because of course it is. Let's get rid of a couple things. Uh, What was it called? Mm. I'll get rid of the treasure map. I literally never use them and they're never going to get used on this character. Let me see. Rewards of the worthy. Let me see if I got anything worth having here. No. But I'll get rid of a couple more things. I got a ton of stuff that I could just get rid of. Sure, why not? Dude, I got a ton of stuff I need to get rid of. There it is. All random crap I don't need. I will use this though. Four? That's all I got was four? Let me see if I can activate the next zone story. So it's outside. I gotta get there. How do I get out of here again? Is it this way? Yes, it is. Oh, that's that's the other way though. Wait, is this? Why does it take me to the other place? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just this way. talk to her then. 